system three through seven driver board sent to me for repair. Somebody had already made a critical upgrade here and replaced this 40 pin female header, very nice. I replaced all the other headers around the board because you can remove and reflow the solder there, but you'll just never get a great joint. Plus those old burnt round pins, they just aren't with mess worth messing with. Uh, this board has no AMI PIAs in it, very nice. Um, the problem when the fella sent it in was that this transistor here, it's the fifth one, it lights the solenoid five, kept shorting on and uh, the root cause was that it had, had happened a couple of times before and despite the client's uh, pretty good soldering technique, there is carbon built up between two of the legs and it was allowing the transistor to turn on. So it looked like the transistor was locked on even though it was a perfectly working transistor. So let's turn, uh, I've already got the game on. Well, let me reboot it. Okay, so I've got a, I installed NVRAM. This is not his MPU, but this is another MPU that's in. Lamp matrix is functioning, and the only coil that's on is the coin lockout coil. So let's put it in the test. Uh, doesn't have anything to do with driver board, but the displays are working. Right now, sound would be playing. Again, that comes from the MPU. The next test is lamp matrix, and you can see all those are working. The following test is going to be solenoid test. Four, five... That was the one that was problematic. And it was problematic when I got it here too. I connected it up just to see if it was working or not initially, and it was not. So the coin lockout one will blink and then go out. These are the special solenoids and they're all working properly. Let me get a ground wire attached and I will rake the special solenoids input connector like this so we can see that the special solenoids are working one two three four five six so those are all working properly based on the switch inputs and the next test is switch test and the client didn't report anything funny with that but I'm going to use my Pinatech switch matrix tester to walk through the switches in column one. And then row one. You can see it's showing up on players one and two. That's so display set came out of a firepower. And the last switch in this game, which is um, Black Knight ROMs in it right now. It's switch 46, I believe. So, yep, all those switches are working fine. A lot of folks will ask me about these current limiting resistors here in the lamp matrix. These, they're burnt, um, but they still work. I, I believe they're uh, three ohm resistors. I'm not sure, three watt, but I can change them out if the client asks, but there's really no reason to put uh, to take perfectly good working parts out of a game just because it looks a little hot. But this driver board is now working and uh, client can stop beating his head against the wall because that was a tough one. Thank you so much for sending it.